welcome back to Bear Creek Arsenal. Today we're going to be talking about the side charge assembly. Getting a lot of emails, a lot of questions about the different things with the side charger, and it's still uh, it's still confusing a few people, and that's okay. That's why we're doing this here today. So as you can see in front of me, I've got two, I got two upper receivers with their perspective BCGs and their charging handles. Okay, so that we could talk about that right here. So as you all well know, uh, with our side charge assemblies, we have we have your, your side handle that gets screwed in, and then you have your threaded receiver plug here at the end, okay? And your BCG comes right out just like that. Now, so here are your two BCGs for, you have your standard rear charge assembly, and then, and then you have your side charge assembly here, okay? They're the same shape, the same size, same dimensions. They have the same, same steel, okay? A few differences, as you can probably see right now, straight from here, is your standard BCG has your side notches for your forward assist. The side charge BCG does not have the notches because there is no forward assist, as you can see, on the side charge assemblies. The handle for the side charge BCG actually acts as your forward assist if needed. Something else you can see here on the BCGs is your indent. There is no indent on the side charge, but you've got this very large indent here on your standard BCG. That indent is to allow space for your ejection port cover detent latch to actually sit in. When the rifle fires, when you pull the BCG back for any reason, that, let me see if I can get it, there we go, that detent latch pushes against that indent and that's what causes it to open up. Since there is no ejection port cover on the side charge assembly, there is no uh, indent in the side of your side charge BCG. That being said about the same sizes and the very few differences between the two BCGs, a question that keeps coming up, which understandably, uh, I, I, I can see why it keeps coming up, but a question is, can I use my side charge BCG in a standard receiver, or vice versa? Can I use my standard BCG in a side charge assembly? So the answer to that is, it's kind of twofold, okay? Physically, yes. One BCG will fit into the other receiver. Okay, so for example here, I've got my standard receiver and I'm gonna be using my side charge BCG. It goes in just like normal. We got your charging handle and your BCG and it fits. It fits normal, it will operate like normal. You can pull it back with the charging handle like normal. As we discussed earlier, because the side charge BCG does not have the indent for the ejection port cover, you will not be able to close the ejection port cover because the ball detent and latch here on the ejection port cover has nowhere to push against. So that door cannot be closed. That being said, again, once you load this, uh, once you apply the side charge BCG into a standard receiver, yes, you have a method of pulling the BCG to the rear to load that first round and it will function and operate properly. Now we're gonna go into the big question that I get even more. Can your standard BCG work in a side charge assembly? Okay, now again, the side charge receiver is designed and made to hold the side charge BCG. Hence your ejection port cover and then your channel cut on the side for the side handle that is screwed into the carrier. So again, yes, the BCG will fit inside and it, and it will function as it is supposed to function, okay? But on the side of the BCG is no drill or tapped hole to allow for the side handle to be screwed in. So there's nowhere to put a side handle. 
on the rear of your side charge receiver is meant for your threaded receiver plug. Yes, the channel is drilled, is milled all the way through the upper receiver to allow the gas key of the side charge uh, BCG to run back and forth during the cycle of your, your shot. At the rear here, it is a drilled and tapped hole for your threaded receiver plug, okay? That being said, a standard charging handle cannot be inserted in there. There is no, it, 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 you cannot put the round circle in the square block. It will not go in, it will not fit. So can your standard BCG fit inside your side charge receiver? Yes. Once you mount this on your lower assembly, you have no method of pulling that BCG to the rear to release it and load the first round from the magazine. So it'll fit, it will fit. If you're able to fire, it will function as it, as it is intended to. If there's no round in the chamber, then this will not work. You will not be able to fire it. So what I have here, I've got my 80% lower assembly for demonstration purposes. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, I have a side charge upper assembly and my side charge upper receiver here, and uh, it, something I wanted to cover and touch on is the threaded receiver plug. So yes, the threaded receiver plug is supposed to be turned so that the flat section is facing down. When that flat section is facing down, it will sit up on top of the lower assembly loop here, lower receiver loop for the uh, buffer tube. So it will sit there, and you can go ahead and insert your takedown pin for proper operation of your side charge assembly. Now, we expect this to work with the majority of AR-15 mil spec assemblies out there since this is an AR-15. Uh, you may encounter a lower assembly that has, that has more mass here at the loop, okay? Maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit shorter, I don't see it being a little shorter, but you may run into, you may encounter a lower assembly where the lower receiver loop is actually set a little higher. So even with your flat section here facing down, your flat section of the threaded receiver plug, and when you mate them together, the locking lug inside the lower receiver will not line up, not allowing you to push your takedown pin, okay? so. Something else that we can do is, so you have your threaded receiver plug. Now, to gap that opening right there to allow, to allow the user to fire and gases coming out of your BCG and to keep them from escaping out the rear and hitting the user in the face. Okay, so I have here what's called a headless screw. Headless screw, a thread count of 3 8 by 16. 3 eighths by 16. It's about, uh, about 3 eighths of an inch long as well, okay? So that can be screwed into this hole right here, into your opening, and I've got a regular Allen, Al hex Allen key wrench that I'm using, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing special. So now that the hole is gapped by the headless Allen screw, I can still close the assembly and insert my takedown pin, okay? So now that opening is gapped so that gases don't come out to the user's face. And I have an easy method of being able to remove it as such. So now when I want to conduct maintenance on my BCG, all I have to do now is take the side handle off and the BCG comes right out. Another issue I'd like to talk about, not really an issue, but another topic I'd like to talk about, something that has come up quite a few times recently, and it's the use of the different AR blocks that we, that we have commercially able to use, uh, both for our standard receiver and our star charge receiver. Um, as, I, as you see here, I've got the uh, clam style AR block, okay, something that holds onto your, your your upper receiver as such, and then this is what gets placed into your, your table vise. 
And that's how it holds right there. The clam style, uh, the shape on the inside uh, is, is what allows it to hold on to the upper receiver, as you can see the shape there. It allows it to hold the upper receiver uh, incredibly tight, incredibly effective. Um, this is for when you're doing maintenance, when you need to remove your barrel nut to rechange out the barrel, remove the barrel, um, change the barrel nut if you're changing the hand guards, anything like that. Now, if you can see right here, okay, the body of your upper receiver for the side charge is a lot thicker, a lot more, um, it's got more body mass than your standard AR receiver, okay? Yes, the sides are thicker. Um, it, it, it's just, it's, it's got a wider body on it. So in people using your side charge uh, assembly and trying to use a clam style AR block, okay, uh, they see that the fit is not exactly the same, okay? Um, it, uh, the, the, the shape of the interior of your clam style AR block does not conform to the body, the shape of the uh, side charge receiver, okay? Now, as you can see, when, when not being held tight, yes, the, the side receiver will still move in there. And we've got a lot of customers saying, hey, you know, I can't, use, I can't use my clam AR block around my side charge, what do I do? And, and I went ahead and I tested this myself, and you can still fit this in a, uh, in a vise, okay? You can see it's, it's still closed, relatively close, okay? It's not shut all the way, but this can still be placed in a vise to where you tighten the vise and it'll squeeze on this receiver and it'll hold it. It'll hold it really tight. Uh, it'll hold it uh, um, just as well as the clam AR block holds to your standard receiver. It'll hold it incredibly tight and, and allow you to remove the barrel nut if you need to, uh, change the barrel nut, anything like that. So for those of you who have the clam style AR block and you have a side charge receiver and you can see that it is not fitting in there quite well like it does with your standard receiver, um, it, it'll still work. It, it, the, Clam style AR block will still hold on to the side charge receiver if that's what you have. So here we have the uh, we have the white uh, AR block. So this is what we use here in our facility. Okay, um, it, these as you can see they have your openings at the front and the back. Okay, and then it has holes here where you would insert pins. And what it does is. So you have your, your, your charging handle and BCG-less upper receiver, and it sits down on the block as such, just like that. The bottom part of the AR block here, this is what goes into your vise. So you put that down on your vise, and your vise clamps down on the bottom of this block right here. You insert your pins through the openings, that come already drilled out on this block, and then the pins go through the uh, locking lugs that are on the bottom, okay? They go through the locking lugs. So you have something supporting the inside of the receiver and something supporting and holding on the locking lugs on the bottom. They, um, in the market today for these, we do have, uh, they, they do come for the AR-15 and the AR-10. Yes, you will need two separate ones if you have uh, AR-15 and AR-10. These also work very well with the side charge. Gonna take these off right here, because again, in order to use the block style, you have to remove the charging handle slash BCG. But once again, it works just fine with your side charge receiver. And again, this center portion right here goes into the receiver so that it supports the inside of your receiver. Uh, so when you're getting ready to take off that barrel nut, uh, it's, it's being supported properly, minimizing the risk of your upper receiver cracking in at the weak point. M-shell style blocks, they can be found on, 
on, uh, I don't want to say pretty much any, but on many, several uh, AR accessory websites. Uh, if you search, if you conduct a search on the internet of, of AR blocks, I am guarantee you're going you're gonna to see a lot of these, and you're going to see a lot of these right here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this clarifies uh, some of the questions out there about the side charge assembly. Um, it, it, it is fairly new compared to how long the AR rifle has been around. Uh, it's still taking people to getting used to. Uh, I, myself, I'm also getting used to the side charge assembly. After spending a few years in, in the Army, uh, I got used to your standard receiver. Uh, the side charge does have, have its advantages. Uh, and again, it is different. So people, uh, people are warming up to it. Uh, any more questions of the side charge, always feel free to email us uh, with your concerns or your inquiries. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have new videos weekly of all the products that we have here at our facility. Uh, and a lot of these videos can help answer any questions that you may have uh, for our products. Y'all be safe out there, be safe on the range, be safe in the woods. We'll see you next time.